In today's video, we're taking a look at the new Jetpack blocks on WordPress.com for artificial intelligence generation of images and text. These are two experimental blocks which are seemingly not going to be sticking around for very long, although I think they've been there for a little bit. Uh, and now we're going to take a look at them because, you know, AI everything, right? So let's check out these AI blocks on WordPress.com. All right, so as I mentioned at the top of the video, it's a Jetpack AI block uh, or two blocks that are now on WordPress. Dot com. It's always confusing to me as why they label them as Jetpack and what's WordPress.com and is this going to come over to Jetpack? Is that why we're starting as Jetpack? So there's always this like quasi branding confusion, I feel. But check out this link for the WordPress.com forum topic to understand more in depth of some of the things that these blocks can do and can't do by the original team member that uh, put these uh, put these blocks together. But let's just demonstrate them really quick. This should be a short video. I'm going to start with the image generation first. So I'm going to add a block. I'm in WordPress.com. I have some text in here already that I copied over from the WP Minute as example copy. We'll take a look at why in a moment. But let's go ahead and add the AI image block. Um, you can see that these are labeled with experimental. I showed a tweet at the beginning of this from Matt Mullenweg. Uh, stating that these might not stick around, they might go away. Uh, but let's just start with this AI image generation. It says, what would you like to see? A, they have sample text at Cozy Cabin in the Woods. I'm going to say a WordPress developer working on her laptop in a coffee shop building a website. Let's see what we get for image Generation. I believe this all goes through the OpenAI API. Uh, it is labeled here, or it is asked here in this forum uh, somewhere about some other OpenAI initiatives, um, and the original poster uh, does uh, does mention that. So here are the four examples we get. These are all AI generated images. Um, I'm going to zoom in to see um, if you can see the detail before importing them in. So there's a lot of things here that. Um, oh, I actually can just click this and show it. So, uh, yep, this is exactly what I chose <laughs> as in terms of the, uh, the text prompt there. And I can kind of go through and pick the one um, that I think probably fits the best. Uh, I'm going to go with the first one as the one that I would like. So I'm going to click on use that image or use this image. And that's going to put that prompt right below it. And I can modify it uh, as if I were just, you know, moving a, a, an image in from the media library. Um, it says the width and height is 512. I'm just going to save draft for a moment. One thing I didn't test before is whether or not um, there is a full size image in the media library. So let me just go to add image. Let me just see if it adds it there. Select image from the media library. And I select that and click on edit. Uh, the dimensions are 512 by 512. So that's the size, uh, original size that it's bringing in there. So I think if you start trying to use this as maybe hero images, um, at least in the experimental form, um, that's the size that it's giving us. So this is kind of cool. If you're blogging and you need to come up with some uh, quick uh, photography or image images to supplement your content, uh, seems to work really easy. I didn't have to like set up an account anywhere else. Obviously, that all runs through WordPress.com. There is a question here in the forum. Uh, I think it is right here is who owns the rights to the images created. Um, and the original poster does have a response there. So definitely check that out if you want to learn more about that. So that's really cool. Um, looking forward to see if they enhance this uh, with some more features look at the text AI block. And this is the uh, out of the two, the most lacking, I feel. Um, there's a, a lot that would still be needed to really improve this block. Um, and if we take a look at the original post, somebody had asked like where the content is generated from and, and how is it analyzing it. So it needs to have uh, text from a, available paragraphs. That's why I have some uh, paragraphs here of text, title, category tags, uh, and then, of course, content of the post. So you need to, so the more you have this filled out, the better this block will respond, maybe. Um, we'll take a look at that right now. So I'm going to pull up the AI paragraph. And as soon as you click to add it, it just goes and it looks at the title, the content, um, the categories, and the tags that you have, and starts filling out uh, some text. You know, I think that 
really the only use case this is good for right now is if you're writing a blog post and you're just absolutely stuck and you need another idea to help keep you going. Otherwise, it doesn't really help you like continue with um, any kind of formal, I don't know, continuation or text of, of the stuff you've already written. Uh, the first three paragraphs I have are from, is from another uh, WP Minute blog post, which talks about upcoming WordPress 6.2 features, what they're doing with Openverse, the site editor. Um, and then when you add in the AI block, it says all of the new features mean that the block editor will be viable option for editing an entire website. We're also seeing an increase of use of full site editing feature, which allows you to edit an entire page as a single block. This is a powerful feature that has been built with Drupal and other popular CMSs in mind, making it easier for developers and content creators to collaborate in building sites. Um, I don't know where it it thought that Drupal was the answer here. And then it says, speaking of collaboration, the Openverse initiative is an exciting development for users and developers. The Openverse is an, and then it just stops. <laughs> and there's no real way to click on it and say, hey, I, you know, can you continue writing this? Or you know, can you revise this? Um, saying that Openverse is an exciting development for users and developers I bet is a bit of a stretch. Um, so anyway, it's it's really not filling me with any kind of useful content in terms of uh, the AI text generator. I think you'll get a lot better stuff if you just go direct to chat GPT or, or maybe another um, <clears throat> text uh, graph where you can get uh, some content generated for you. So that's it. Uh, those are the two blocks. We have the AI text generator and the AI image generator. The image generator uh, so far is the best one in my mind. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What are you using? Are you using Bertha AI, which is another popular WordPress AI generation tool? Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. And don't forget to get your weekly news of WordPress right at the WPMinute.com.